Hi right guys, welcome to today's video. So we're having a look at the Trek Ambonda SL7 uh, 2021 version. So this is the newest sort of frame design from uh, Trek. So starting the front end, this is the Tram Force build. So this is the wireless axis 12 speed system. You've got Bontrager aluminium bar but there, carbon pro stem on here. Um, some integrated spaces through here. Also a little bit of a, a go 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 symbol behind there. Um, just to keep you a little bit more motivated I guess on the bike. Yeah, you've got the Carbon Pro Bontrager bar on here, which is quite nice to see. Um, should give a little bit more dampening off the vibrations from the road. Really nice decals on this bike, some nice chrome uh, decals through the down tube there. Fourth chain set, but it has got a power meter as well, which is unlocked and ready to use. And you've also got the fourth rear mech there as well. Humongous tyre clearance on the back of this bike. I'll have a look at that in a second. So, top of it, massive clearance bottom, loads of clearance still left on there. This is a wide rimmed 25mm Bontrager alias tyre and wheel, sorry. You've got the R2 tyre on there as well. Not used their tyres yet, look forward to using them in the future. Really nice sculpting on the back here, really nice design to the rear end to make sure you've got a bit more flex in the frame for comfort and a seat cap that goes over the top rather than goes inside the frame, all to encourage that bit of flex on the rear end. And a Bontrager saddle, obviously to finish, which is their finishing company with Trek, so you wouldn't expect to see anything else on their bike. So, a really nice bike, just over £5,000 worth. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll catch you guys later on for more content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.